Mid Journey, the AI image generator has finally released its character consistency feature and it looks really good and exciting. Well, what is it exactly? The reference is the latest feature of Mid Journey that ensures character consistency. It allows you to match the character traits like face, hair, and clothes from a reference image, creating almost the same character across different scenes. Like I tried to create this one of a girl taking a trip to Paris, London, New York, or maybe even having coffee in a coffee shop. So without further ado, let's dive in. Along the way, I will also share a crazy useful tip which will save you a ton of time. So look out for that. First, let's go to the website of Mid Journey. So first we'll hop onto the website of Mid Journey and we'll come in here, search box and just type the kind of image we would like to use. Pretty woman and all these amazing options come up here. I had previously liked an image, so I'll just use that. I'd like this image. So once you select a particular image, you can come here and just click on use image here. And here you can see the image is selected in this prompt box. Uh, now we'll need to pay a little bit of attention. As you come closer, you'll see this. You'll see these uh, three small icons where they have described what each icon is a function of. This small image symbol is to use this image as an image reference. This small attachment symbol will let you use this image as a style reference. And this small person symbol will let you use this image as a character reference, which we are trying to do today. So we'll just select this. This will ensure that we are using this image as a character reference. And now we'll just type a prompt. Pretty woman in a shopping store. And I'll just click on enter. Let's check out the result. So this is the first option, second option, third option, fourth option. Pretty good, right? Now let's check out some other options. Once again, I'll just click on use image. And this time I'll, this time I'll give it another prompt. Pretty lady sipping coffee and I'll click on enter let's see the result so this is what I got this time the face has changed a little bit but still it's a good shot I would say this one's okay the results are crazy right now what if you want to change the character's clothes for this you can use something called the character weight parameter to control the level of character detail you can carry forward character weight adjusts the reference strengths from 0 to 100 at lower values like where the character weight is zero, it will focus mostly on the face, but at higher values, it will pull out more of the outfit in this. Now let's say that if we want to change the dress of the character, and we just want to retain the original traits of the face of the character. So in that case, we'll have to use something called the CW parameter introduced by Midjourney, where CW stands for character weight, and CW varies from a range of zero to 100, where an 100 when if we give it a weightage of 100, the everything will be referenced right from the character's face to their outfit. And if we reference it only to zero, then only the character's face will be referenced and everything else will change. Use this, we just need to add dash dash CW to the end of the prompt and set a new value between zero, which being the lowest and 100, which is the highest. Try and change her outfit this time. So let's give it a prompt. So I've given it the prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady sitting in her home office dash dash CW space 25 and I'll make sure this person icon is selected and I'll click on enter. Here, her, here you can see her outfit has changed and her face has also changed a little bit. Here the face has walked quite a lot. This one looks okay. Now let's try another one. Once again I'll use the same image. I'll come here and click on this person symbol and I'll give it a prompt. So I've given it a prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady working in a corporate office with glass windows dash dash CW where CW stands for character weight and this time I'll give a character weight of zero such that her entire outfit and everything changes and only the characters characteristics of the face are retained. Let's see what we achieve and I'll click on enter. Wow this one looks nice. So I think the face looks pretty similar to the original face that we used and she's wearing a white corporate shirt here the face has changed a bit but it's still nice look at this here she has got a blazer on as well and look at this so not bad so let's try out another one cinematic still of a pretty lady ready getting ready to sleep i'll click on this and let's see the results this is really nice wow i'll use this image as a reference i'll give it the same prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady getting ready to sleep dash dash cw character weight and we'll give it a weightage of 50 and let's see the result. This is the result.
beautiful let's let's once again use this image and we'll try out something else i have given the prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady doctor dash dash cw 20 always remember to give a space here between cw and the number that you're stating and just enter so th this is what we got when we tried to make her into a doctor let's try out something else this time I have given the prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady in a snow mountain resort extreme cold weather dash dash CW of 35 and I will click on enter this is the result of what we got when we tried to put her in a snow resort let's try let's try a different style so this time I have written oil painting of a pretty lady waiting at the airport CW of 50 and I'll click on enter. The result that we got when we tried to make an oil painting out of her. I'll try a few other styles. And this is the result that we got when we vectorized her. So here she's gone completely off. This one's still okay. So I've given it the prompt cinematic still of a pretty woman walking in London. Then just give dash dash. Then write CW for character weight. Give a space. And let's check with 25 and I'll click on enter. So this is the result which I got with character weight of 25. So in this one the face has totally changed. This one is still okay. This one's also nice. Cinematic still of a pretty woman sitting in Paris dash dash CW which stands for character weight and this time I'll give it a value of 50 and I'll click on enter. Nice. Nice. Pretty decent. And now we will see the result where we have taken the character weight at 75 and we have sent her to a New York subway. This one's nice. This one's also nice but in this one the face has changed sub substantially. And this is the last one where we have sent her to an art gallery in Berlin where the character weight is 100. This one the face has completely changed. This one's nice. Okay, so this website characteristics are only available to the mid-journey alpha users to qualify for which basically you would have had to create at least 1000 images plus using mid-journey. So if you still don't have access to mid-journey alpha, don't worry, we'll cover the discord also. It's really simple. Let's go. For that, let's just save an image. So I've just opened up my discord. Then we'll come here in the prompt box. And first thing, we'll upload the picture. So I'll just click on this plus button. Click on upload file. You can also do a drag and drop. I'll select the picture of the lady we were using. I just named named her Lisa for the purpose of this video. I'll click on enter. And I'll upload the image to my Discord server. Here it's ready. So now the way to use this in the Discord server is also very simple. We'll just right click on the image. We'll click on copy link. So this gets copied to the clipboard. And now I'll just come here and give it. And now just come here and prompt the way you usually do. So I'll click on forward slash imagine and now to use the character reference feature just click on dash dash then type c ref and now simply paste the link of the image that we copied to the clipboard and click on enter and here mid journey will do its work. Here these are the results in the discord let's check them out. They look pretty neat. Now similarly, we'll also see how to use the character weight feature that we saw in the alpha website. So once again, once again, just click on forward slash imagine. Type out your prompt. So I've given it the prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady in Paris at a flower shop. And I'll click on dash dash C ref, which is character reference. I'll once again paste the link of the image I'd originally copied to the clipboard. After doing this, I'll click on dash dash, I'll type CW which stands for character weight and give a space and I'll give my character weight value, I'll click on 25 and I'll click on enter. Let's wait for the result. So this is the result that we've achieved, looks pretty decent. Now for the crazy shortcut which I'm going to share with you which will save you a ton of time. Just come here in the prompt box, write forward slash and click on this prefer option set then just come here and click on 
plus one more and you'll see this option value click on this now in the value section just paste the link of the character that we had copied to the clipboard and in the option you can just name your character let's name her lisa and i'll click on enter and here you can see lisa has been assigned this particular link so now see the magic I'll click on forward slash imagine. I've given it the prompt cinematic still of a pretty lady in Mumbai at a shop. Then I'll type dash dash C ref. Now I once again I'll give a space. I'll type dash dash and I'll just type Lisa and I'll click on enter and see the magic. So this saves us from pasting the link again and again and we've just assigned this character a particular name. Pretty cool, right? So here we can see Lisa has reached Mumbai, India. And this character was and and this shortcut is really helpful and very time saving some basic guidelines or uh, for the ca character weight parameters if you use a value of zero only the face will be referenced if you use a value of 25 the face and the hair will be referenced if you use a value of 15 the face hair and some amount of clothing will be referenced and if you use the value of 100 face hair clothing and almost everything of the original character will be referenced few things to note the mid journey consistency characteristic works best with mid journey created images and not images and photos created at other platforms right now it has limited precision and it won't copy exact details like dimples or logos character reference works in the nig6 and the v6 model it can also blend multiple character references you have to simply use the same method and paste the multiple links one after the other thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.